during the pandemic, everything was shut down. We didn't have no gyms, no courts were open, everything was open. So for Venice Beach to do this right here, man, I feel like it's a huge accomplishment um, going through what we went through in 2020. We at Venice Beach right now with um, the Red Bull Tournament. That's what it's all about. I give it all my all. Ball is life. It's in my heart. 303 is a very high energy, quick game. They're short, but they're very intense. 303 is evolving. I think it's still evolving. Um, I think it's a, automatically a world world game now, and it's played everywhere in the world at a high level. It's definitely a new wave in the 303. I mean, like I said, it's an international wave. Yeah, the big difference in three on three is just you really need to play defense. There's not much help. I think people have always just kind of seen me and gone at me. And that's actually made me a lot better because people look at me and like, oh, I'm going to take him. I don't just do it for my dad, you know, he's at that point, he raised me to where I am, but my siblings are all younger than me, so every time I step on the court, I'm not just doing it for me, but it's mainly for them. This game is fast, bro. They think it's a slow game because it's 3 on 3, but it happens really fast. And it's more so based on strategy. Using the back doors, using the pick and roll, like, shooting the lanes to be able to get the steals, like, so it allows you to, I guess, have more offensive opportunities, but you gotta kind of shorten the space to make the defenders close to get open looks, you know? Subs is very important. I think a lot of teams are gonna mess up because they, they don't know when to sub. And that's, that's one thing I learned from watching 3x3 is that the subs are important. You know, it's not about ego, about how long you play. It's just about helping your next teammate out. That's what makes 3x3 work. Our game. We too good for them. Don't talk to the refs no more. Please Share their experience with the kids, kids out here. So it's just to win the whole thing, to be honest with you. You know, like we're the underdogs because we know we probably got a lot of people looking at our team and it's on us to go out there and make sure that that, what people think actually happens. $5,000 on the line and a trip to Frisco. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Try to get like easy buckets throughout the whole pool games. Uh, try to get rest, give everybody rest, rotate, substitutions right, and uh, don't get injured, because you only have four players, so. Many a day has passed, the night has gone by, but still I find the time to put that bump off in your eye, total chaos. I wear, I wear my feelings on my sleeve, bro, like, when I'm playing, like, in life, like, it's hard, bro, I'm an emotional person, bro, like, as quiet or as aggressive as I seem, bro, it's really just because, I really am emotional, bro. Like, I really love art. I really care about people who care about me. Like, that's just who I am. And sometimes I can't even really control it. So really just be the best you. You know, you can try to copy and be this guy or that guy and modulate or find what you can do, master your craft, master your skill and be the best at what you do. You know what I mean? And implement your will in the game. Extra work, man. You got to put in that extra time, man. Uh, what I'm starting to learn is I do extra 
and what I think is just a little bit extra is twice as much as everybody else. I come across a lot of people who are, are going to be my lifelong friends and people that I call family and it's all through the game of basketball. So uh, it's a beautiful sport and I'm thankful for it. I thank God every day for it. I could be out here chasing my dream. I don't believe in luck and I am going to win this.